Hi, everyone. Here's a sneak peek of Dishing Drama with Dana Wilkie. If you'd like to hear the full episode, please subscribe to us on Patreon. Come on, b- b- bitch, let's go. Come on, get, get, get ready, bitches. Welcome back. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. This is my second installment of my little takeover of Dishing Drama with Dana Wilkie. Um, I hope you enjoyed my last episode, my conversation with those actors, you know, about the biz, about the dirty old biz. Um, We're going to go in a slightly different direction, actually an extremely, extremely different direction today. Um... Late, uh, in a, shortly, I'll be uh, welcoming my sister Emily back to the podcast to discuss a, a TikTok she made that went viral about losing her job to AI, which was pretty fucking crazy. Um, from there, we're going to uh, take you on a, a conspiracy theory journey with our other guest, Gabriel. Gabriel is very well versed in all things conspiracy or as he calls it, the truth. Um, not a conspiracy to him. Gabe is going to take us through everything from NDEs, which are near death experiences to alternative medicines. And he may even convince us that aliens are living among us. Okay. It's pretty exciting stuff. In this episode, um, we'll be probably unlike most of the content that I've explored on this show And some of it may freak you the F out, so feel free to skip over any concept or anything that's just too much for your little brain to handle. I know you guys don't have little brains. I'm just kidding. You guys are very smart. Uh, Please welcome Emily and Gabe to the show. Hey, guys. Good to be here. Good to be here. We were applauding for ourselves. Oh, waiting for applause. Waiting for applause. Yeah. Um, And now, Emily, you're my sister, right? Is that how I know you? That is what we've been told. Okay. Uh, You know, a conspiracy that I have is that I was actually your mother. Ew. (laughs) (laughs) You know, like how Jack Nicholson was told that his, he was told that his mother was his sister. So he grew up thinking, oh, that's just my older sister. When in reality, it was his mom. Oh my God. That's so crazy. She was young and it was like, I don't know, 1812. I don't know. Oh my God, 1812. I, wow, that is really crazy to me. I did not know that. Maybe I had kind of known about that. I mean, I guess that explains him. Right? It explains so much about his like womanizing and just his, his distrust of women. I think, remember what he did to um, the woman, that woman, Laura, maybe? Mm -hmm. Laura what he did something to a woman named Laura (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what her name is but she was on um she was on a bunch of tv shows and he cheated on her with a ballerina so she went to I think it was the Golden Globes in a tutu because she had walked in on Jack Nicholson with a ballerina oh Laura Flynn Boyle I think so yeah she was in um Men in Black 3 (laughs) wait she was yeah, she played the alien. I think that's the second one. Oh. Right? That's the really beautiful woman? Yes, yeah. she's like very, very beautiful. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, now it's the scum's turn. See, I'm in a bit of a jam, so I'm going to make this simple. Whoever brings Kate to me gets Earth. Start by finding a denuralizer. They're going to want to get his memory back. Now. Nice to see you again, Kay. You really did love Lorana. Didn't you get? Yes, that's her. She was in, uh, yeah, yeah. Fun fact about her, she moved away from Hollywood and lives in a small town and uh, doesn't want to be famous anymore. And so she's not. Honestly, love love to hear that. Yeah. Like, just didn't want to do it anymore. Sorry, done. Incredible. Wow. Okay. This was was a great little intro we had here. Um, (laughs) 
Emily, now tell me, tell the people a little bit about the job you had before what you're doing now and what led you to post this thing on, on TikTok. Yeah. So I, um, during the pandemic, I became a copywriter, a freelance copywriter who worked basically with like a very small agency who sent me clients and work. Um, Uh, so like kind of like an, like an agent for an actor, they send you work and they take a commission. Now Um, what is copywriting? So I did have to, (laughs) (laughs) I had to Google it when I got the job. Um, essentially copywriting is any piece of writing that you do for a business or a organization. So like it can be blogs, it can be, um, what you see on somebody's website, it can be product descriptions, it can be listings for Airbnbs, a whole plethora of different things. Wow. Okay. Okay. Got it. Yeah. So mainly what I did was writing like marketing blogs. So when you search something in Google, like how long should my eyebrow hair be or something? The first, I don't know if that was the only thing I thought of. When you when you type in a question to Google and something comes up, companies will write that so that you click on it to read the article and then you go, oh, what's this eyebrow hair growth serum? And then you buy it. So that's what you were, that's what you were working on before. That's what I was working on before. And then chat GPT came out and all of a sudden it went from having maybe 10 assignments a week to five to three to one. And it was because small businesses wanting to save money makes total sense. We're like, oh, we can just use this free software to write our articles. We don't have to pay someone to do it. I guess what led me to make the TikTok was just being um, really desperate, (laughs) (laughs) Um, you know, as all social media stardom um, happens, I just was really desperate. And uh, the other part of it was I had been interviewing for all these jobs. And finally, I had found a recruiter who seemed really interested in me. And they were asking me like, um, can you interview today? Like, when can you start? The contract's only six months, but we're going to pay you a good enough amount of money where I was like considering it, you know, only to find out that the job that I would be interviewing for is to train AI to write like me. So the reason, yeah. So the reason the contract was only six months was because (laughs) after that, the software would know how to emulate my voice. So it's basically like the decision between do I take the job and put myself out of future work or do I like hold out for, you know, some miraculous opportunity to present itself. Um, And I was really broke. So was definitely would have taken it. Um, But so I made this TikTok and then... I guess it's sort, I mean, saying it went viral is like, an, it didn't really go viral. Okay. But okay. From a few people seeing that business insider reached out and asked me to write an article. And from that article, some a company saw it and was like, we would like to hire you. So basically I lost my job because of technology, but I also found a job because of technology. Whoa, that's a great little twist you have there. Wow. Now, a chat GBT, is this, I mean, I'm so glad that that was not around when I was in high school or college because I was so lazy. I probably would have used that at times. Um, You know, our stepbrother, Adam, who is a high school teacher, ha- um, I was asking him, like, how do you tell if somebody's using chat GBT to write their papers? And he said, I don't. There's no way to know, except <sighs> for... <laughs> except for one of his students turned in a paper, but had just fully copied and pasted the entire page. So it said chat GPT semicolon before the paper. He just, forgot. Oh my God, what an idiot. <laughs> uh, and I was like, you, you had to get him in trouble. And he was like, there's just, it was too stupid. It was just, yeah, that's, that is too stupid. You can't, you can't do that. That's, you got to draw a line somewhere. Like, listen, you're going to cheat, cheat, but don't get caught. You fucking idiot. Yeah. 
Remember what dad always said. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. Exactly. Bam. Um, now that kind of leads us into our next subject, which is AI. Now, Gabe, are, is there anything you can tell us about AI or what are your thoughts on AI? Let's kind of break into it. My thoughts on AI is that it um, it always existed in some form. Um, that AI was always here, but we just called it different things. Oh my God, like what? If you are liking what you're hearing, please review, rate, and subscribe. It's not like we can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs>